Stacy Libertarian Rick Stewart may have lost his race, but he did make history as the first Iowa Libertarian running for governor to earn more than 2% of the vote. We don't feel like we lost. Well, we were in the ring with two big gorillas, you know, the Republicans and the Democrats, and the, we, we snuck into the ring and we survived. That is not a loss, that's a victory. Libertarian candidate Rick Stewart earned nearly 2.4% of all the votes cast for governor. That's roughly 680,000 votes short of winning the race, but it's more than enough votes to earn Iowa Libertarians major party status. We're gonna have a lot more candidates on the ballot in two years because it's a lot easier for us to nominate candidates. We're gonna have a lot more door knockers, a lot more uh, telephone callers, a lot more um, letters written to the editor, all that kind of all the kind of energy that comes from being a major party. But in order to keep major party status, future Libertarian candidates for governor and president also have to earn at least 2% of the vote. Iowa Libertarian Party Chair Jules Cutler says she's confident they can keep that momentum going. That people are tired of voting and choosing between the two evils, right? The lesser of two evils is what got us to this position. She argues the country's current political climate is ripe for a rising third party. And she hopes new major party status will lead more Iowans to register libertarian. Oh, the problem is that those extremes become more and more extreme every year. Um, and I think that people who are middle of the road are looking for home and we welcome them. Well, Libertarians first hit this milestone in 2016 in Iowa when Libertarian presidential nominee then Gary Johnson earned 3.8 percent of the Iowa vote. But Libertarians lost that status when the 2018 Libertarian candidate for Iowa governor failed to earn 2 percent of the vote. Stacey.